T minus 30 seconds and counting. The launch take water cut and starts. Flight mode on. Flight mode on. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the HTV on a journey to the International Space Station. We had a liftoff of the H2B launch vehicle number four with the Kono 34 on board from the Tanegashima Space Center at 4.48.46 a.m. on August 4, 2013, Japan Standard Time. And 35 seconds into the flight and the familiar scream of the HTV as it heads uphill. After liftoff, the launch vehicle operation control was shifted from the blockhouse to the range control center. The H2B is now flying over the Pacific Ocean to the southeast with its initial flight angle of 108.5 degrees. 打ち上げ後1分が経過しました。The H2B is flying normally and the Tanegashima and Uchinoura stations are tracking the launch vehicle very well. 80 minute 30 seconds into the flight all systems go. Standing by for SRB burnout. SRB initial shooting. SRB burnout. Burnout confirmed. First pair jettisoned, the second pair will follow here shortly. The first and second pairs of SLBAs were jettisoned. The Ogasawara station has started trucking. The fairing that surrounds the HTV at the top of the rocket should be jettisoned here in less than a minute. It's three minutes after liftoff. The first stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is approximately 107.9 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 2.3 kilometers per second. Payload fairing jettison. The fairing has been jettisoned. The next milestone will be the first stage engine cutoff. That should occur here in less than uh, about two minutes.
打ち上げ後5分が経過しました。ロケットは順調に飛行を続けており、現在の高度は約160キロメートル、秒速約 4. 点3キロメートルです。Standing by for first stage cutoff. First stage engine cutoff. Cutoff confirmed the first stage should be dropping away here shortly from the second stage, and the second stage will ignite. First and the second stage is separation. Second stage engine ignition. So right on time, the second stage ignites and powers the rest of the flight. The second stage will burn for about the next eight minutes or so, and then it will cut off, and then separation will occur at 3.03 p.m. Central Time. station has started trucking. Again, this vehicle is taking with it 3.6 tons of supplies for the Expedition 36 crew, including quite a bit of science. And a crew supplies, as well as some new tasks for the important robotic refueling mission, or RRM. This is a live look at the Scuba Space Center as the JAXA uh, team there monitors their vehicle as it flies up into space.